This is my first cop meeting and I came here because I got persuaded by IIED to come. And the first uh, couple of days where we met for the DNC was fun. I had to remind everybody about urban, urban, poor, women. And everybody accepted it very easily, acknowledged it, came back and told me, yes, we should remember that. And I'd like to know six months later whether it actually gets integrated into this sort of stuff. But my experience yesterday at the COP was very traumatic. I was invited to a special session which tried to bring people in government, private sector, and we think community representatives to talk about the need to produce flows of funds that build up on the top and then flow to communities. It was a session with lots of speakers. We were all given time, a couple of minutes in which we had to say what we wanted to say. And I was absolutely amazed that many of the earlier speakers were people who had to leave the session and run, so the whole schedule was changed. And so three of us or four of us who were community people ended up speaking last. Now this is the tradition of every single uh, panel I've been to, where we are like the token community people who are brought in to show that there's a lot of good feelings towards us. Well, that was not only bad that I, was, I ended up being the last speaker, our chair chose to stop the session while I was hitting the button. Even more shocking was there was not a single person in that whole room that protested. Uh, my, my friend from Zambia who spoke about uh, rural women and their need to have funds and spoke very passionately got a huge applause. So I assumed that they'd want to hear somebody else talk about it. And nobody said. Instead, everybody came out, sort of patted me and said, poor thing, you didn't get a chance to talk. Can we give you another chance to talk? And I was furious. I was ashamed to be part of a process in which community people get treated. Imagine, instead of me, there was a community woman sitting there. And I don't want to be part of such a process. I will never go and speak at a place where I'm treated like this. The protocol has to change. We keep talking about all these wonderful things. Women should be in the center. Processes should be most in power. Empowerment must work. These are all phrases that come so easily to people. Yet when you go for the evidence, just doesn't exist. So I wonder whether that's the new tradition that the COP process is going to bring, because that's not the path to sustainability and leaving nobody behind, because we're all getting left behind.